Hey guys, I'm really too happy to see all of you again today. Thank you so much for coming back. Thank you so much for your support. In this video, we're going to talk about something really cool. Have you ever heard about Llama 3.1 AI language model? It's a new open source model from Meta. It's one of the biggest models available in open source. 405 billion parameters. It's a huge. And in this video, we're going to talk about how we can install and run Llama 3.1 small model locally. Without internet connection, you will be able to talk with large language model from Meta. If you are ready, then let's get started. Llama 3.1 is the newest and most advanced open source AI model. It's come in three sizes, a huge one, 405 billion parameters and medium size, 70 billion parameters. And the smaller version is a 8 billion parameters. This model is a big step forward in open source AI because it's performing really well and even better than private AI models. The good things about this model, you can use it for free. It's open source. Anyone can modify and change this model so it can help create new ideas. Some tests show that this model is even better than private models. It could handle long text. It could understand many different languages. As you could see in these tables, it outperforms some private models, and it's really cool. You can open meta.ai website, and if this model available in your country, you will be able to log in and try to use it. And if it's not available, you can try to use Perplexity, because in Perplexity you can select different models, or you can run this model locally, and I will show you how to do it. Unfortunately, it will be difficult to run 405 billion model on your computer, because you need really strong power. But I will show you how you can run 8 billion version model. For the small version, you will need about 16 gigabyte of RAM, about 8 core CPU, and about 20 gig of available space. If you want to try a model 405 billion, then you need to have about 810 gigabyte of RAM and really, really powerful computer. First open website, olama.com. We need to download and install Olama tool. It's a tool for running and managing large language model locally on your machine. It's available for Linux, Mac, and Windows. Basically copy this command and insert it in your terminal and press enter. It could take up to 15 till 30 minutes, depending on uh, your internet speed. Then we go back to Olama.com website and click models on the top right corner. In the list, you will be able to see different models. There is Llama, Gemma from Google, Xi, Quen, DeepSeek, and so on. So many, many models you can try. In this tutorial, we are going to use Llama, so I'll show you how to install Llama. Click on the link, Llama 3.1. Then from the dropdown, select the model that you would like to download. I will select a billion model because other model I can't run on my computer. Then you need to copy this command and paste it in your terminal. Okay, let me pass this command and hit enter. So depending on your internet speed, it could take 30 minutes or even longer. You have to be patient. Once it finishes, you will be able to see this screen. Unfortunately, I see the error. So because I don't have enough memory, I have to stop some processes first. I've killed some processes. Let me run this command again. Take some time to start the model, but then you will be ready to ask your first message. So, I could ask my first message inside this terminal. Okay, let's try. I will write hi. And let's see what response I will get. Actually, it works really slow on my computer. So, as you could see, the reply is really, really, really slow. But the model is available, it's working, and it gives me answer. Let me ask another question. Let me check how is up to date this model. I will ask what the latest iPhone re version, and let's see the response. As you could see, uh, this model is not up to date yet. That's why it said that the latest iPhone version is 14. However, right now the version 15 is available and pretty soon we will have 16. Let me ask the model what date is today. As you could see, it's don't have real-time access, that's why it can tell the 
current date, but it suggests an option how you can get this information. Let me ask the model how is up to date its information and let's see the response. So for the 8 billion model version, the information was last updated in 2021. So it means it's not up to date. So if you want to use this model for up to date information, probably it's not the best way unless you provide your own context first. Okay, let me ask the model if it can has access to information on my computer. And as you could see, the answer is no. It doesn't have direct access to my computer information and resources. However, it's tried to suggest some workaround depend on the question that I would like to know. Okay, let's check if I can provide a file to this model my personal file that it could analyze and give me some uh, information based on that file. As you could see, it don't have the ability to directly access a file information, but again, it suggests some workaround that I can use if I want to pass my own data. Let me try to provide some URL and check if it could access URLs. So basically for the security concern, it doesn't have access to websites and different URLs, but there is some work around how you can pass the data. You can try to share with Dropbox or OneDrive or just copy and paste the context of the file. It also suggests other ideas, so you can try to check one of the ideas and see if it's work. Okay, let me try a Google Doc link and check if the model will be available to access Google Doc. It's actually when it requested the URL but due to security reason, Google Doc doesn't allow bots to have the access to the content. Let me show you that you can use this model without the internet connection. As you can see, I don't have internet connection. I run the same command, Oloma run and then choose the model. And as you can see, it's ready for accept my questions. And seems it's working. So for run this model, we don't need to have internet connection. Possibly it could be useful for some companies. But keep in mind, you need to have powerful computer and the response could be slow, plus the information will be out of date. That's it. As you can see, it's so easy. If you like this video, please click like. If you don't like this video, please click like. Don't forget to share uh, your comments. Your feedback and comments below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe right now. And I hope to see you in my new video soon. Bye.